Hi, everybody, from the Browns radio booth here at First Energy Stadium, the home opener. It's a win for the Browns by 10 over a tough, resilient Houston Texans team, 31-21, the final score. Back and forth they went, and finally the Browns separated in the second half and pulled the game out. But the game had a lot of drama connected to it. Jarvis Landry went out of the game in the first half. He injured his knee. It looks like at least a sprained MCL. We'll have MRI results coming up tomorrow. But all of a sudden now, the Browns are super young at wide receiver, and especially with Odell Beckham Jr. still trying to come back from that ACL injury and subsequent surgery from last season. But in this game, Baker Mayfield comes up big and courageous and tough because in the first half upon throwing an interception and that interception being returned by Justin Reed Mayfield decided to be a tackler and injured his left shoulder and it was very painful he left the field went into the locker room it looked like his day might be done but he came racing back out and never missed a play 19 for 21 throwing the football on the day remember he hurt his left shoulder but he also threw a touchdown pass and ran for a touchdown. And after he threw the interception, he went 10 for 10 throwing the football. The game had some glittering highlights. Nick Chubb gave you a Nick Chubb game. 11 carries, 95 yards, and a thrilling 26-yard run for a touchdown that sort of put the game on ice. Rookie Demetric Felton, an amazing play, a catch, and then a run where he zigzagged through the Texans defense for 33 yards. This kid's got a lot of giddy up and he played very well today, thrilling this packed house at First Energy Stadium. But on the other side, the Browns defense, well, that's going to be a work in progress. Tyrod Taylor had an easy time working through and around the Browns defense, throwing over the Browns defense, but finally left the game with a hamstring injury at halftime and he had to come out of the game. Davis Mills, a rookie from Stanford, took over in the second half. Lucky for the Browns, that happened. I don't know if they had the right call on Tyrod Taylor and being able to stop him as the afternoon went along. But in the end, the Browns win. They're in the win column. One and one, and it looks like next week, we know they'll play the Bears, but it looks like they'll play against Justin Fields, the former Ohio State quarterback. He came into the Bears game today against Cincinnati when Andy Dalton went out injured and went 6-for-13 throwing the football. That will be a storyline for next week. But the Browns survive, and the home crowd, which was electric all game long, goes home happy, and now gets set for a victory Monday. Final score again, the Browns 31 and the Texans 21. For WKYC.com, I'm Jim Donovan.